I thought this was kind of cool. Uh, there's a company that is deploying an Ethereum node into the International Space Station using SpaceX's little rocket launch. Um, called Space Chain. Uh, firm announced two missions aboard SpaceX Falcon 9 rockets that are both expected to take place in June. It's slated for June 3rd, which is the date of this recording. Made possible to a firm called NanoRacks. We'll see Space Chain Space Note launch and ultimately installed at the International Space Station. That will act as the first demonstration of Ethereum technology on Space Chain's existing hardware aboard the ISS. Well, Ethereum node on space. Space blockchain stuff is very interesting. I don't think a lot of people are like talking about it. Look at little JP Morgan doing a little blockchain space. So you know it's going down, dude. No one's talking about it. The early adopters. Everybody is fucking clueless. Yep. Getting shepherded into whatever's being shilled as alpha at the time. No one knows anything what's going on. Space economy, dude. There was one panel I was listening to during Coindesk's uh, um, little conference, man. The people that are into space economy stuff are, are wild, bro. They're into it. It's really very interesting. It's going to get <laughs> fucking gnarly. Hey, everybody out there, listen to your kids because they fucking know shit, okay? okay God I, damn I, I it. I bring up, though, dude, that most of these people that are doing heavy, heavy work are like also like 40, 30 year old, not young people going like heavy into the cool tech. So, you know, just saying. Yeah. But like, like people like me, like doing research and stuff, I hopefully have more life than a 40 year old by a little bit. Right. You're also not putting Ethereum nodes into space. I'm not doing anything but spreading awareness. Sure, sure, sure. Space you know, stuff, man. There was a bunch of people when the internet was getting started who didn't UCLA make anything to contribute to the internet, but still made lots of money off of it. Yep. I'm trying to be one of those people. Sure. But with blockchain. Yeah. yeah. I but also I also want to make something. I just don't know yet what. You ever seen that recommended video on YouTube of an MIT class uh, talking about blockchain? No. It's cool. MIT tangentially has a YouTube channel of just like open MIT classes. So you could save, <laughs> save a little money on there just go on YouTube. Um, but there's a whole course they have on who's now the uh, Gary Gensler, I think his name is. He's head of the SEC now. Was doing a, a blockchain class. And uh, it's pretty interesting. I only listened to 45 minutes of the first lecture, but it's pretty dope. I wonder if they taught any blockchain at our school in, like, anything. In 2017, 2018? 2016, they had to have been. Maybe in, like, some finance classes, maybe. Some economy. And they've been talking about it for a minute, bro. It is a research school. Yeah, but they, I guess they're into space. They're in a lot of space they're stuff. space. Telescope. Hey, we need some blockchain telescope stuff. No one tapped me on the shoulder and the mall when i was getting chick-fil-a about like hey yeah. what's this <laughs> your journalism <laughs> ah, journalism <laughs> replaced by a computer in 10 years a little of the moment give you some history God. perspective though you know you're gonna be 50 you're gonna be like wow who really went to school for journalism back then? <laughs> that's like who went to school for farming man farming's probably got a lot more productivity in the economy than journalism Low key, a lot more money to be made in the real economy. Same amount of fucking stress. Probably a lot more know. stress, dude. Yeah, you got to like, especially if you're man. I don't know what it's like to to be control of a farm and like have to make crops and like hope the weather and whatever tools you're using to preserve your crops don't just poop out on you. It's a lot of work. Man, man, man. Where's the farm tech? Yes, farm tech got work. Quite a quite a bit of quite a bit of work. They were talking about other blockchains that existed previously in this MIT class, and like layers of stuff that was 
made before uh, Bitcoin was made. Pretty cool. Um, this was like 8, 2018 too. So it's kind of after the 2017 hover. And they're like, yo, we guys want to talk about blockchain stuff, a little crypto. And people are listening. And now it's on YouTube for everybody to just chill and listen to. From a professor who is now in charge of one of the highest financial positions in the United States. You're telling me it's not $40,000 a semester? No, it's just uh, if you have some kind of internet device and a Starbucks, you could learn about some cool stuff.